Here is a simple and fast interchange loot run, looting weapon boxes. Let's get into it. So on screen are some of the items I like to highlight or I like to look for when I'm looting these weapon boxes. But of course you can get any and all sorts of weapon attachments, armors, guns. Right on screen now is an example of a loot run I just did. So let's get on to the run. So this is actually a really good spawn for our weapons run because a lot of the weapons, I mean, there's weapon crates on both sides, but a majority of the ones we're gonna hit, actually all of the ones we're gonna hit are in the front side of the mall where the idea uh, front entrance is, as opposed to the shipping container area. But why I love this weapon run so much is because I never, not one time, had to deal with another PMC while doing this. And it's good if you're really looking for those like 60 round magazines for your gunsmith or the ice cream cones quest for prop or Or if you're doing your gunsmith quest and you can't find those 60 round mags. So that's perfect. The first weapon crate we're going to be looting on this run is right here in this first tent. Right underneath the ollie. Because we spawn, or sorry, the, uh, the idea because we spawn on the idea side. So let's go ahead and give this first one a loot. Let's see what we get. That's Meg's not too bad. Uh, oh, okay. We got some Hawk gunpowder. That's what I would take from those. Then after we loot the first weapon box, we're gonna run right across and we're gonna go to the escalator area where there's two more boxes and a bunch of other goodies we can collect along the way, which is kind of cool. So here we go to the escalator room. Just to our right, there's going to be a duffel bag. I'm going to hit this because, well, I love duffel bags. <laughs> so we get in this one. HUD, that's a good one to grab. Red pliers, not interested in that. Then I'm going to go to the grenade case as well while we're on this run because it's right here. You might as well hit this. I love grenades. Who doesn't? Let's see what we get. Oh, M67, not bad. Then we're going to go right past the escalator and take a left because our next massive weapon crate is going to be right here underneath these stairs perfect let's see what we get let's see what we get okay that's a dis that's a disappointing weapon crate if i've ever seen it but that's all right the only thing you will have to worry about is killa on this run actually let's hit this double bag in this corner and then we have that weapon box just over there killa can spawn underneath them all so if you were to die from anybody that's who could do it uh, but other than that the only competition you have when doing this is scaps so it's it's really great to get all these fun weapon attachments and even armors you can get armors gunpowders helmets like really good good gear so after we loot those two next thing we're gonna do is run to these two bigger tents the green ones the, the triangle roofs I'm going to loot two more weapon crates in here. Let's get some better things because this <laughs> run so far is very unlucky. But there we go, Sephira helmet. That's not bad. It's some value right there. Ammo's in there. Nothing too crazy. Now let's go ahead and loot this other one. Is it... Oh, I have to go the other way. Okay, no problem. But you can get slicks and like... Uh, uh, or hex crates doing this, which is really great. If you're looking for those, man... Not the best luck right now on the, on the weapons run, but that's okay because we have so many more weapon containers to loot. So after you loot the two by the green tents right there, we're going to go ahead and take a left down this way. And our first weapon crate is going to be in this truck. Even hard to see. You got to open the trunk there. Not many people know you can do that. There's our first weapon crate right there. Perfect. Wow. These weapon crates are spotting nothing this time. What the heck? Okay, no problem, no problem. Because we have a bunch more in this area. So along this left wall, there's going to be two. And you also have some weapon attachments on this desk. So we'll take some of that. That's a foregrip there. We'll take that. Nah, we'll probably drop that after. Just because I like to stay lighter. A lot of these weapon boxes spawn Iskers as well. I have a feeling that a lot of these um, kind of have the spawn chance like the other weapon boxes do in interchange like the ones by the stairs there that always spawn them because i think i've always seen an iskra in that one but who knows oh so there is a great find because if you're on that proper quest or the gunsmith part one quest to uh 
get the muzzle brake on the shotgun there's the muzzle brake right there which is really good so i would run out finding that i would, I would get the heck out of here but our next weapon box is right here on the back side of these bigger boxes here right on these uh pallet stacks let's go ahead and give this one a look as well okay contacts gotta love those i always do really like finding the contacts in there just because you know it's cool it's cool but after we loot that area we're gonna run down the right toward this exit of the mall and we're gonna loot one more weapon box that will be right here on the sandbags so let's go ahead and give those a quick quick look see what we can find here okay oh that's a good that's a good haul over there not too bad not too bad and then we have more weapon boxes around this ramp right here so let's go ahead and do that we have one more weapon box right here Whoop. a little bit of a little bit of a jump there let's see what we can find on this one perfect okay battle grip not too bad we'll take that then we have another weapon box right here See we can get oh wait sorry this is this is a double bag but oh wow loot lord plushie okay that's a good one to get after we looted this weapon box and the duffel this way we're gonna go ahead and run past the hole in the wall which is just on our left side of the screen there and we're gonna run towards these tents where we'll find more weapon attachments and weapon boxes go ahead and run this way so on these tables a lot more weapon attachments can spawn here. So let's give this a quick look to see what we can find. Nothing too great that time, no worries. Then we have another weapon box on this box here. Let's go ahead and loot this. Perfect. But I'm, oh, coal pack. Man, we really have a rough one on this one. And then after that weapon box, we have one more on the floor right here. Perfect. But. Yeah, I mean, th th this run, is it's just safe. Like, you're really not going to be running into that much trouble when doing this. Almost at all. Besides, you know, the killer. Plus, you get a lot of scab kills down here, so a lot of XP while running through. Of course, I'm doing this on an offline raid with scabs off, because the weapon box chance, I don't think, have any different spawns. But after we loot that weapon box, we are pretty much done our run, and now we are on the other side of the mall. So if we spawn on that railway side, all we have to do now is run out this way and extract just down that way. And there is my weapon box loot run. I hope this guide helped you and maybe if you wanted to switch it up, some of the runs you were on before are getting a little old. Here's a fresh new one for you. And remember, sailboats always sing karaoke in capes.